Hey guys, it's Jane, you're watching My Gold Mine, welcome. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a Jean Baptiste Valley X H&M haul. Yes, I did cop me some bits from the Beloved collection that went like that almost too quickly for a girl. But anyways, <laughs> we're gonna get into that in this video. But I'm going to show you the bits that I did manage to get and also a dress dupe. Yes, guys, I have a dupe of one of the most coveted dresses, so stay tuned for that. Before I get into it, just have to ask you guys a few favours, okay? One of the things is for you guys to please subscribe to this channel. You'll be helping a girl, be making my Christmas wishes come true. Also, check me out on Instagram. I post daily style inspiration, fashion inspiration all that goodness you know rolled into one okay right without further ado let's get into this video so basically long story short okay your girl wanted a dress this beautiful mini dress that's super you know fitted and embellished and embroidered to the nines and it was 139 pounds 99 and i didn't get it long story short so i decided to opt for this sparkly number here. I'm gonna scooch over to this side so that you can see me wearing it on this side. You know the good editing magic. This gorgeous cocktail dress, sparkly, you know, so if you wanna shine bright like a diamond, you can. <laughs> um, it's absolutely stunning. Um, I'm not even gonna lie, I was a little bit salty that I didn't get the dress that I wanted. Um, so I wasn't expecting to like this. In fact, I was actually expecting to take it back, but here it is and I actually really, really do like it. This dress comes in at £119, so it's actually cheaper than the dress that I wanted. And guys, it is really pretty. It's got this flouncing along the neckline, which is really cute. It's got this ruching along the lower half of the dress, really pretty this bodacious bow, okay, like larger than life, and you've got more flouncing, more gorgeousness, this peplum detail along the hem. Guys, like I said, I really wasn't expecting to like this dress. I was expecting to return this dress, but here it is still in my hands, and I am actually going to keep it. I think I'm a sucker for sparkle, and I just think it's actually really, really nice. And I like the polka dots, if you see it closely. But they've actually sewn the polka dots in, which is a really nice touch, actually. Well done, Jean-Baptiste Um <laughs> Yeah, but it's really, really nice, guys. I, like I said, I wasn't expecting to like it, but I love it. So it's staying, okay? So that means my bank account is not happy with me right now, but it's fine. I'm gonna roll on to the next item, okay? <laughs> yes, the next item is in this little box right here. It's actually from the men's collection. What I actually quite liked about this collection is a lot of the pieces were unisex and you know, your girl could wear it, your guy could wear it, like no one is left out, okay? So yeah, I got me the pearl necklace. Yes, super gorgeous. This came in at $49.99. So that's $50 gone, but um, no, I quite like it. You've got these cultured pearls. So it's the real deal, guys, real pearls, okay? 100% real, I think. And yeah, you've got the gorgeous, irregular sort of pearls. That's what I quite liked about it, is that the pearls are quite unique. They're not your everyday, rounded, perfected pearls. They're unique, they're some are bulbous, some are small, some are round, some are triangular, like you got it all going on here, <laughs> yeah? And then we've got this golden lip, and um, you know, yeah, it's, it's cute. I mean, one thing I would say about this is I wish the lip went like this, you know, like horizontal, not vertically, because it kind of looked like something else vertically. And I'm not gonna go into that, because yeah, I think you guys can tell what I'm talking about, but I'm not gonna say that on here, because I'm trying to be classy. But it's still cute in its own right. Also, I wish it had bedazzles in it, but I think because this is the men's one, they did try to make it a little bit more sort of androgynous. Right, I'm gonna try this on. 
Okay, I'm gonna try this off camera and come right back. Hey guys, so I'm back with this necklace. I wore it the wrong way around, but we're gonna ignore that, okay? Um, so, <laughs> yeah, this is how it looks. I think with this necklace, you could wear it like this, and that would be quite nice. But I think this is actually supposed to go to the back. But you could wear it like that, you know, no one's stopping you. There's no rules when it comes to fashion, okay? So, this is how it looks like this. It's just a really nice pearl necklace. Technically, should have worn a different top so you could really see the pearl necklace-ness. But let me do that. There you go. Really nice. Again, I love how it's irregular. It just adds that quirkiness, you know. It just adds that je ne sais quoi to the necklace. And also, as well, it makes it a lot more androgynous. So, to the guys that want to wear your pearl necklace, yeah, you've got your nice pearl necklace right here, okay? So I really like it. I think it was worth £50, considering that they're real pearls. But £50 is a bit steep. But as it's a designer collaboration it was going to be steep so i knew this you know when i signed up okay when i clicked the um checkout okay so on to the next part of the video is the dress dupe that i found before i give you the goods i'm firstly going to tell you some of the other dresses that i wanted from the collection that i didn't get and that i was a little bit salty about okay right <laughs> There was this gorgeous cream short lace dress with like diamante detailing all down the dress. It was absolutely gorgeous. I wanted it, didn't get it. It came in at £229.99. And yeah, by the time I clicked on it, it was gone. Yeah. Another one was this gorgeous short tulle dress with the um, floor or pk is all over it you know the one that that gorgeous italian blogger the one that she wore she <laughs> looks fabulous also 229 pounds 99 and i also couldn't get it and finally the other one that i wanted you know the gorgeous pink fluffy tulle dress that just looks like a ballerina's dream yes that also came in at 229 pounds 99 i think and yes i was able to get that but i was able to get its dupe and that's what i'm going to be showing you right now i'm going to scooch over a bit so you guys can see yes this infamous dress in this light well what is supposed to be pink color i'm going to get to that in a second i got this from shein it's a dupe let's be real or let's just say it's highly inspired by uh, the jean Battista valley infamous dress that we all know and at the time it was around about 28 pounds ish but i think it's actually gone up to 38 pounds and 49 pence to be exact so that's on shein now i have a few things to say about this dress i was actually considering returning it because when i got it out of the package your girl stank okay okay not me i didn't stink <laughs> I didn't stick uh, this 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 puppy kind of had a bit of a, a, a of a smell that I was a little bit confused about especially up here it does it the smell I'm, I can't lie to you guys it did smell a bit weird and it's especially up here for some reason I'm not too sure what that is um so yeah I, I was really like should I keep it why does it smell like this mm. I had all these thoughts and also as well as much as I do actually like it the color is not what I thought it's gonna be. Like, I thought the color was gonna be this sort of blue toned baby pink, but this literally is like neon baby peach. But however, I don't know what it is. When I saw myself wearing this in the mirror, I was actually like, you know what? I can't return this because this is actually really pretty. Like it is a really good dupe. Other than the, the color, it does actually look pretty similar to the dress and it's for a fraction of the price. And if I'm being honest, that's why I wasn't as sad that I was able to get this one because I just thought there's so many companies doing similar dresses that I'd probably be able to get this one like elsewhere. So yeah, but guys, if you weren't able to get the real deal either, don't shed a tear, okay? You've got a nice dupe here. She and does other colours as well. Black and also they have the infamous bright pink, the dress that was in the initial drop of the collection ages ago, which I was not able to get a single item from at all. It was all gone. 
by the time I saw it on the website. And yeah, <laughs> if you like Neon Baby Peach, you might like this and, and I don't know. Oh, and also actually, if I do keep this one, I may have to exchange it because it's slightly a bit big. And like, if I was ever to wear this and I'd be dancing in the stress, yeah, like living my life, I don't want my twins to pop out because it is actually slightly bigger than it's supposed to be. But other than that, guys, I did actually like this dress and I think this could be a good dupe. And as you can see, it's larger than life. I can barely like fit it into the frame of this camera. It's just super like girly and elegant and quirky and yeah. I mean, it's a very an everyday wearable, you know, dress that you can wear to work, you know, just roll up into work one day looking like a character from the Nutcracker. No, but your girl's playing, okay? I love this sort of um, elegant, ethereal, fantasy sort of fashion. Like that's my sort of vibe, so. I love this. And I love that it was for the fraction of the price. <laughs> I, I just don't like that it smells. So yeah, that's the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the items that I did manage to get from the Michel Batista Valley collection. And I hope you enjoyed the dupe as well. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Wish you guys so much love and light in your lives. Peace, love, and light to all.